Pharmacell Folio offers the direct execution of process diagrams created in the graphical BPMN editor with the Pharmacell Folio workflow engine. This gives you, the end user, the highest flexibility for modeling your workflows. We would like to demonstrate how this works using the example of an incoming invoice process. A user form has been created to capture the metadata of invoices. The form contains the following metadata, creditor, invoice date, and invoice amount. It also saves whether the invoice meets formal criteria. Using the test invoice, we can see what the capture of the metadata looks like. The modeling of the incoming invoice process takes place directly in Favis Folio using a BPMN process diagram. If we now open the properties of the process diagram, we can see that the process diagram can be restricted for usage with specific document types via the property usable for. In this case, the process diagram can be used for invoices. Via the menu point Open Process Diagram, the process editor can be opened in a separate window. This allows for the full screen resolution to be used for the editor. The incoming invoice process is already partly modeled. There are two organizations involved in the process, the creditor and Fibersoft as invoice receiver. The process of the invoice receiver is modeled in detail, and there are three areas of responsibility. Staff member accounting, head accounting, and head finance. The process begins by receiving an invoice from the creditor. The invoice is then registered by staff member accounting. If the invoice doesn't meet formal criteria, a claim is logged for the invoice and the process is ended with an error event. If the invoice meets formal criteria, then it's sent for approval by head accounting. In parallel, the invoice is also forwarded to head finance for approval, but only if the invoice amount is higher than 5,000 euros. What should happen after this approval has not yet been modelled. Checking the BPMN syntax also delivers the error that a gateway must have at least one outgoing sequence flow. If the approval is rejected, then a claim is logged for the invoice. If it's approved, then the invoice can be posted. The IT system SAP is used for posting the invoice. The process is now fully modelled and checking the BPMN syntax no longer finds any errors. Now we want to execute the process directly in the Fibers of Folio workflow engine. The executability of the process can be set in the pools properties via is executable. The lanes in the process diagram represent areas of responsibility. Via the lanes properties, a Firewalls of Folio process participant can be connected to this lane. The tasks in the process diagram are paired with Firewalls of Folio activity definitions. The process participant can be determined at task level. The participant defined for the lane is used as an initialization value. All tasks are now paired with Fibers of Folio activity definitions and the process can be executed. A process diagram can be released for execution via the menu point Release Process Diagram for Execution. During this release process, it is also validated whether the diagram can be executed in the Fibers of Folio workflow engine. If the validation contains errors, these errors can be displayed directly in the editor. In our example, the condition expressions are not yet saved to the gateways. This means that the workflow engine wouldn't be able to determine the correct sequence flow. The validation of executability can also be initiated via the corresponding button in the toolbar. The condition of the sequence flow can be saved in the property field, condition. These can either be captured themselves as Fibers of Folio expressions or be created with the graphical editor. No condition is needed for default flow. This flow will run through if other conditions do not apply. Once all conditions have been saved, the executability check no longer returns any errors. 
Now the process can actually be released for execution. At this point, you can choose for which users the release should take place. In our example, the process should be released for the group accounting. This makes the process available to all members of the group accounting. We now switch roles and see how Petra Bruna can use this process as a member of the accounting group. The processes released for her are listed in the workflow section of the user settings. Here you can see the personal settings and predefined settings. We can see the process that we just released under the predefined settings since it was released for the group accounting. We now switch to a team room for a construction project and open a folder with invoices. The invoices are PDF contents with the category invoice. By this category, the metadata shown at the beginning is made available. Petra Brunner now starts a new process and selects the previously released incoming invoice process. The process is opened and can be started via the button Start Process. Now we find the activity Register Invoice in Petra Brunner's work list. Via the working step Annotate and Edit, the invoice can be easily registered. This enters the invoice's metadata into the form. Since the tax isn't explicitly assigned, the invoice doesn't meet formal criteria. Via the working step finished, the activity is completed and the invoice must now be claimed and the process is ended. If we now open the invoice properties, we see that the process was ended with the status aborted. The process receives this status because it was ended with an error event. We now start the process with a second invoice. The metadata is registered and this time the invoice meets formal criteria. Via the working step finished, the activity is completed and the invoice is forwarded for approval. We now switch roles again and log in as accounting director, Stefan Leiner. Stefan Leiner receives the invoice for approval in his work list. He opens the invoice and approves it. If we switch back to Petra Brunner, we see that she doesn't yet have a new activity. The invoice cannot yet be posted because the amount is over 5,000 euros and therefore requires a second approval. We log in as Anita Gruber, Head of Finance. She also opens the invoice and approves it. If we now switch back to Petra Brunner's work list, we see that the invoice has now been approved and can therefore be posted. As soon as the posting has been completed, the working step finished is executed and the process is ended. We open the properties of the second invoice and see that in this case, the process was ended with the status completed because it was ended with a normal end event.